Now radians are particularly useful for simplifying um, finding the length of an arc and the area of a sector. Today we're going to look at the length of the arc. So here we have an arc and you know already to define a radian it's um, when we have the um, length of the arc equal to the radius. Now if we think about extending that to some other angle and we would be looking at this arc instead then what has happened is that the angle in the middle has been multiplied by theta so it was one radian now it's theta so that just got multiplied up by a scale of theta so the same would be true for the length of the arc that arc that started off being the same as a radius has been multiplied up by a scale factor of theta so now our arc length is equal to the radius multiplied by theta nice and simple this is true as long as theta is measured in radians. You also need to know that that particular one is called the minor arc. You may have a question that asks you to work out the major arc, which would be the other side of what we've got drawn there. So it's just looking at the bigger or the smaller of the two arcs. Okay, so here's an example. An arc subtends an angle of 2 pi by 3 at the centre of a circle with radius 5 centimetres. Find the length of the arc. So let's just draw what that looks like. So subtends just means the angle at the centre that's made by that arc. We're going to find that arc length, which is equal to r theta. Always write out your formulas first before you put numbers in. And we get our final answer of 10 pi by 3. Okay, next example. We are going to find theta given this information in the diagram. So we know that the arc length is 26.2 and we're going to work out theta of the major arc given that we know the minor arc is 26.2 centimetres. Right, we know that arc length is r theta. So we know that it's going to be 26.2 equals 10 times the angle subtended in the middle. But that's not theta this time. It's this little x on the other side. Because we know about the arc on the, the minor side of things. So now we can work out that x is 2.62 radians. By doing 26.2 divided by 10. And from there... We just need to subtract it from 360, the whole circle. But since we're in radians, 360 is 2 pi. So theta is 2 pi, take away 2.62. So it'll be 3.66 radians.